Hello there, it's Aussie Star Wars Nerd, and today we're going to be taking a look at the absolute weirdest ships in the Separatist Alliance. All these ships will be a combination of canon and legends, but I will separate them as best as possible. So beginning with the canon ships, we have the DH Omni Support Vessel. This ship had quite an interesting design, as the name suggests it was used to transport supplies and droids to and from locations. But the really weird thing is how vulnerable to attack this was. The bridge is just an obvious weakness, so it's no surprise that they were never seen again after the Clone Wars. Now we have the Trident class assault ship, and while it's actually pretty effective as seen at the Battle of Kamino, it just looks like a squid and would be much better suited to the Mon Cala. Next up is the Hard Cell class battle refit. It was used mainly above Christophsis, but was also used throughout many other battles during the Clone Wars. It had six engines grouped into twos and three laser cannons at the top. The last cannon ship we'll be looking at today is the Belbalab 22 Heavy Starfighter. If this looks familiar, that is because General Grievous used a modified Belbalab 22 in Revenge of the Sith. That is all the cannon ships on the list, but don't go anywhere because the most questionable designs come from the Legends continuity. Like this one, the Scarab class Starfighter. It was made in a way that allows its wings to compact into the main design so that it looked like a little space beetle. And when it went into combat, the wings would pop out, allowing for maximum firepower and maneuverability. Following the Space Beetle is the Sabaoth Defender. They were only used once, and that was above the Battle of Geonosis. Another Separatist ship used only above the Battle of Geonosis is the Hex Bomber. The Hex Bomber was equipped with two missile launchers and Hex Bombs. Now we have the Hunter Seeker Droid. This is just the silliest looking design ever. It folds into a normal ball for flight, and when it goes into battle, it opens up like a Pokeball. This design was meant to be based on a droidica, but I don't think the Hunter Seeker droid has quite the same effect as its original design. That brings us to the end of the list. If you know of any other weird separatist ship designs, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you.